So before I start this video, um, please click the subscribe button below and also push that notification button so you'll get notified every time I upload another video. What's up and welcome back to another video. It's just another Talk Tuesday video where I get to just talk and I don't know, I just like, I love to use Tuesdays just to talk about things um, that I'm going through, things that have helped me. Um, I don't know, just reminders and things like that. So, hope you guys enjoy what I have to talk about today. So, I came up with a little intro song. Y'all gotta hear it, it's so funny. All right, cause you know, most, sorry, I'm driving. You know, I like to drive and talk, but I don't be paying attention to the cameras. So don't worry, I'm not gonna crash. But, um, you know, most of the time, I'm looking a hot mess, you know, making videos or on Instagram, like, because, you know what, that's life, okay, well, that's my life, I got three kids, I'm busy, um, I don't have time to always look cute, you know, so whatever, and I ain't got natural beauty, so, you know, alright, so why not, <laughs> y'all gotta hear this, it's so funny, alright, like, what up, this is Mama Mia La Feita, but don't worry, on the weekend she's bonita. <laughs> Cause you know what? That's so true. Only on the weekends I'll be getting ready. But anyways, so today, um, I just wanted to do a small video, uh, just to like talk about. So anyways, let's rewind. So yesterday I was at church and the message was really 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 good and um i feel like there's so many things in this world like that we forget you know life gets busy and it's sometimes we have like this routine it's just like bam 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 same thing same thing right and our minds just like i don't know sometimes we, we got to get ref like refreshed i guess you could say with these things reminded um and so yesterday, the big, big thing we talked about was treating others how you would like to be treated, right? I'm like, well, duh, right? Common sense. Yeah, I know. But if you really think of like, when I was thinking about it, I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I want to be treated nice. But then I started thinking about things because my pastor was like, well, don't you want, um, someone to be patient with you and I'm like well yeah especially if you're new at something right because you're gonna be slow you're gonna be asking a lot of questions and people get irritated but you don't think about the times when like you're behind somebody or there's a long line or someone's taking a long time and you're like oh my god these people need to hurry up like I know for me like being patient is really hard especially if I'm having a bad day you know and then when like he put it in that perspective like if, if someone else like um like if you were in those shoes like needing someone to be patient with you like I was like dang like I do need to start being more patient because when I'm struggling I want someone to be patient with me um or you know just if I'm new at something I want some people to be patient or like at work um at school my kids um so I was like dang like that kind of was kind of like a wake up call like hey Maria, you better start being patient man um and uh, another big thing was um, forgiving people. Man, before I get into talking about this, forgiving people is so, so hard, okay? I mean, it's even hard for me. I've gotten a lot better at it, but it's not impo impossible, I guess you could say, because before... I would be like, I'm not forgiving that person. Like, I had a bad attitude. And um, now that I've gotten older, I've realized, like, even if that person didn't say sorry, it's good for your own self-care, your own self-peace, I guess you can say, to forgive them. Just so you feel, like, clean and relieved inside. Even if they're, like I said, they're not sorry. But it makes you, I feel like, feel better. Like, you don't have all this, like, baggage, just anger on you. Like, you just feel relieved, you know? Like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just forgive them. 
and I'm not saying like oh you got to forgive them and be like oh my gosh everything's back to normal you know I don't depending on who you're forgiving and whatever no it don't it don't have to be back to normal you don't have to be uh happy ooh la la with this person but forgive them and be like you know I forgive them for what they did it is what it is I'm gonna keep pushing I'm gonna keep going um because at the end of the day if you do something even if it's tiny if you do something big right if you make a mistake you want people to forgive you too and just like the same thing um people might forgive you but not treat you the same way like they did before and that's fine that it kind of such if you lose so much trust it it takes a while to get that back um and then the other thing that was really huge is being a hypocrite okay we are so easy i'm gonna say me too i'm gonna raise my hand we are so easy to judge people right like judging for i mean anything these days people judge people for the dumbest things like man or somebody always has something to talk about but that's 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 life now right like people do that they spend so much time talking about people making people feel bad and the thing is first like we shouldn't be talking bad about people that's the first thing right and the second thing is like don't talk bad about somebody if you're doing the same thing that's so dumb right and i was like dang like i was thinking about that when i was sad and i'm like damn that's true you know like it's so easy to point fingers at people but next week or something you're doing the same thing or at the time you're pointing fingers at people you are doing that you're living that way or you're doing those things or you're acting that way you know so it's like it's a reminder that we need to check ourselves right we're always trying to check other people but we need to in reality check ourselves because if we're out here giving positive vibes and how should I say like trying to have a positive outlook and be nice to people um, bite our tongues you know that is so hard that is um, mm, okay <laughs> I used to not be able to bite my tongue okay I used to have a really bad attitude problem and I still kind of do okay when people get under my skin I kind of like whatever 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 and then boom right but I've been getting better at it and sometimes you got to be the bigger person I mean at home with siblings with family with teachers with work with you name it okay sometimes you got to be the bigger person even if you're not older than them and you gotta bite your tongue okay and you'll realize that after a while things are gonna change and it might not change in one week it might not change in one day but it's gonna change because these people are gonna realize you're not you're not letting it get to you or you're not acting a certain way you're not being a brat you're not you're not getting the reaction they want from you okay you're still being positive and all this stuff that i'm saying yes it's not easy because i struggle with this all too but um we were talking about this yesterday at church and i feel like this is something i needed to share because it hit me like wow you know like i need to snap out of this and i need to be the bigger person and i need to um, be more positive and things like that and like i said it don't mean that you need to be ooh la la happy with everybody but i feel like this is my thought or like how i think like at the end of the day like we need to self-care right and i feel like when we have peace within ourselves life is so much better life is so much positive life is so much like easier to deal with certain things so yep so just wanted to drop that to you guys and um hope you guys you know use it think about it and um change those little things especially if you're struggling struggling with it it's not easy it's not gonna change overnight but hopefully it's something that y'all can consider and another thing let's talk about goals okay goals your goals so for me this is kind of something i do i like to write my goals every year 
I'll do small goals, I'll do big goals, and I try to, and I do, so they are goals that I will, uh, I will complete, be able to do, that they're, they're realistic, I guess you could say, within a year, and then I have my long-term goals, okay, um, and let's just say, when it comes to certain things, it's a lot easier to have cheerleaders, right, people to motivate you, to push you to consistently be on your ass about certain things, right? So it's kind of like, okay, going to the gym and losing weight, right? So if you go to the gym alone, you're going to lose weight if you're going, right? But you're going to be giving up on yourself because you're like, oh, I'm tired or I don't want to go today. Or you don't really push yourself. But let's say you get a trainer. The trainer's going to have you throwing up. That trainer's going to push you to your limit. You see what I'm saying? So when you have that extra, like, whoom, and you do better, you, you you excel, right? But there's some people that excel on their own, too, that they don't need someone, like, behind them, pushing them. But another big thing that was brought up was, like, your goals. Do your goals scare you? That, that's what was said. Do your goals scare you? And I was like, well, when I think about my personal goals, I'm like, no, I mean like the ones that I have like buying a house stuff like that like yeah it's scary because if I get in debt or something you know but it don't really scare me you know and then I was thinking about like these other goals that I not really goals but like ideas I have in my head about like school about careers about opening businesses and I always um be like nah you know it's not gonna work like I don't know I don't how should I say it? Like, I don't have, um, I let more of the negativity get to me, the negative thoughts. Like, I'm not going to be successful. Or, I'm not going to like that. Or, that's not going to work for me, you know? And I was like, dang, you shouldn't think like that. You should not think like that. If you want to do something, this was this is what came to my head yesterday after that was said. Does your goal scare you? Your goal should scare you. If your goals are not big enough that they don't scare you, then something's wrong, right? You even have goals. I'm not talking about the little goals, the big goals, the big goals in life, right? And I'm like, you know what? I need to step it up. I need to not be scared. Because if I go for something and I fall or I fail, it's not the end, right? It's not the end. If you fail a test, if you fail at doing good at this job, if you fail the interview, if you fail, I don't know, right? There's another chance. There's more opportunities, right? You can't like cut yourself sh like short like that. And I'm like, dang, man. I don't know, like this all kept coming in my head. Like sky's the limit. And it's like, Whatever your goals are today, whatever you have in the back of your mind, but you're like, nah, I can't do it, or it's too much money, or it's too hard, it's going to be too stressful, I'm not going to be able to make it, stop that. Stop that, because I'm going to stop that too, you know? And some days are easier than others. We can't think like that. See, that's another negative thought. We got to be positive, y'all. Positive. So set those goals and they better scare you and be like, I ain't going to be able to do this. Like, this is going to be a miracle if this happens, you know? But you know what? And another thing, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be thrown in your lap and be like, oh, whatever your goal is, right? No, you have to work for it. You have to start from the bottom. I mean, I don't know. Every goal is different, right? But it's not going to be easy. It's going to take you putting in your part too. Remember that. It's going to take hard work and dedication and hard work man 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 it sucks you know but once you get to that goal you're gonna feel like a damn champion you're gonna feel like you could yell on the top of your lung you're gonna feel bigger than the world you know and now i'm thinking about that like hell yeah hell yeah i'm about to crush these goals you gotta feel like a beast, you know? So, yeah. 
I'm just, I don't know, I feel very motivated today. I feel very good after hearing all those things. And like I said, these are things that we already know. It's kind of like a duh. But sometimes we need that person or someone to like bring it back up, up to us, right? So we, we need to hear it again. Because life goes so fast. Life gets so busy. We get so distracted. I mean, I know I do. And so when I hear these things, like, it's like, man, I needed this. I needed this. So hopefully this motivated you. Even if, I don't know, just a little bit. Even if I got a little bit in your head just to, you know, get you pumped up, feeling good. Because you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. Even after you watch this video, there's another hour waiting for you. There's a new start. A, you could change things little by little, okay? Don't give up. You mess up one day, guess what? Tomorrow's a new day. There's another month, there's another year, there's another day. You keep it pushing, okay? You keep it pushing. This has been on my mind just like the last couple of days, you know? I've heard something from somebody I really care about and I'm just like, dang, like, it hurts, you know? And it simply started by one person making an impact in another person's life. So, I'm going to say this. And like I say, it's just stuff we already know. But be wise on who you allow come into your life. Be wise on who you allow stay in your life. Because these people can either destroy you or lift you up, okay? One or the two. And I mean, it could be anybody. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be a spouse. It could be, I mean, I don't know. You you name it. It could be probably even be your own mama. If you're trying to live a better life, if you're trying to be positive, if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to be mature, you can't have negative people or people that have even just different visions that are just crazy come into your life, right? And you're you're gonna say like, oh, well, I'm strong-minded, uh, I'm a grown-ass person, no one's gonna make me do this, no one's gonna make me do that. And that might be right, that might be totally right. But you know what? Some strong-ass-minded people have got broken down because one person got into their head, made them feel like this, and made them sink down. Okay, so it can happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen to you, but be aware. Be aware. Because, man, just that daily impact, the way they talk to you, the way they treat you, the things y'all talk about, what you guys do, like, all that can impact you in so many ways. Especially, especially emotionally mentally okay i mean you could do it to yourself you can mentally freaking destroy yourself because your emotions like it's so crazy and so be careful and um don't have negative people around you and i'm not saying like people are negative right we're negative too so i'm not saying that but if you're trying to for example if you're trying to go to school stay focused and you want to I don't know have this career right you have this vision and let's say let's use a relationship this guy comes in your life right he's fine as hell God's money and you're like dang he's so respectful right so you're like oh my god like I haven't had this so that kind of catches your eye you're like all right and then little by little he starts distracting you you stop studying right you're not working that hard in, in class not doing your homework as much so you're already you're slipping just a little bit but you're not but you're still in school right so you're still focused you're still focused and then it's like after a month of him just treating you like a queen treating like you've never been treated before right so now you're caught on the hook you're just caught and your emotions are getting more invested right and now you're falling behind in school. Falling behind. And then start putting homework behind you, behind you, right? 
and this person starts taking you out on nice dates like let's go out here let's go out there and you're like yeah 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 spending more time with this person which is not bad right but what are your priorities right now what, what where are you where, what are you supposed to be doing you're supposed to be studying right now right because you want to get a degree so that's your focus that's one that's only one focus right and it's you're already cur curving you're already curving man and then let's say he starts saying like let's go make some money and you're like but i got a job no nah, but we can make good money together right and then this dude got you mentally emotionally in love all this stuff and then you start doing bad things with him being his ride or die right you don't think nothing of it and guess what but by this time school's probably like you're barely hanging on or i don't even know if you're hanging on anymore right and you start, I don't know, making your little money with this person, which is not good. I mean, it could be, nowadays what I'd be hearing, it'd be a lot of shit, right? Drugs, prostituting, hustling, a lot of bad stuff. And then there goes that one day, and you're out there, and you get caught. You get caught red-handed. Damn. Well, who's doing time? the woman and whose life is down the drain yours so while you are all locked up where's the love of your life at with somebody else right then you think about it and it's like dang I threw my whole goal away I just threw it away I was so mentally involved in somebody, so emotionally attached. Like, he got me so sprung, right? This is just an example, but I'm just saying, like, things happen little by little. It's not gonna just grasp you. It's gonna come little by little by little by little by little. And at those little movements, you're not realizing that it's affecting your life. You're not, you're not, you're not seeing that, right? We don't see it. And then, boom, when something explodes, you're like, fuck. Like, what just happened? Like, I'm all the way at the bottom. So, don't. Don't let people do that to you. That's just kind of, I use that example as like a little brand new boyfriend type of thing. But, I mean, it could be a friend. It could be, it could be a lot of people. So, a lot of different people. So just don't don't let people come into your life if right when you see something like they're pulling you off your road it's like you know here's a straight road right and you're going straight if you start curving over this line over the stuff you're supposed to be doing then bye bye felicia i'll see you when i graduate or i'll see you when i'm done getting this job or I'll see you when I hit my goal. Or I'll see, or I probably won't even see you. Right? Because you'll probably be off the road way over there. But don't. Those little things you gotta you gotta like be alert. You have to be very alert because you know, and sometimes people don't realize they're destroying your life because their life's so fucked up that they don't even know, you know. But be careful, you guys, because we have only one life. I'm not saying if you messed up, your life is over. But we have one life to be the best we could be. To do the most we can do. So make sure you're doing something you want to do. Make sure you're going towards your goals. And don't let nobody destroy you. Because people can destroy you. Okay? I've seen it so many times. And I'm not saying... I mean, it's from little to big things. I, I even had little things happen to me. From my own actions. And also from like letting my emotions get the best of me like that's why I like your don't people can can fuck your life up simple as that so be wise be smart and be careful who you allow in your life be careful who you allow in your mind